In a large pot over medium heat, add in two tablespoons of olive oil. Then we are sauteing a mirepoix. To the mirepoix, add a pinch of salt. Sweat the vegetables for about 8 to 10 minutes. Stir the pot occasionally until the vegetables start to caramelize. The mirepoix consists of one medium sized onion, two celery stacks, and two carrots diced. Then add in three cloves of garlic, minced and saute for about 30 seconds or until fragrant. It is time to season the soup by adding 1 teaspoon of ground coriander, 1 teaspoon of Italian seasoning, 1 teaspoon of smoked paprika, 1 teaspoon of adobo seasoning, 1 packet of sazon, 1 chicken bouillon cube, and 1 tablespoon of tomato paste. Go ahead and toss to wake up the spices. Oh, and before I forget, freshly ground black pepper to taste. Toss again to incorporate Incorporate the black pepper in, then add in 4 cups of water, followed by 4 cups of chicken broth, 2 potatoes cut into bite sized pieces, and 1 cup of rice. Rinse the rice through cold water to remove most of the starch. Give that a quick stir to incorporate. Now increase the heat to medium high and bring to a simmer. Once it comes to a simmer, reduce the heat to medium low and continue simmering for about 35 minutes. We are using 1.5 pounds of shrimp peeled and deveined with the tails left on. By leaving the tails on, you add more flavor to the soup. And after 35 minutes, all the vegetables and the rice will be soft and tender. Increase the heat back to medium and bring the soup to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, add in the shrimp. Cook the shrimp for about 6 to 8 minutes or until nice and pink. To give it a nice kick, add in a splash of sriracha. And to enhance the flavor, add in 2 tablespoons of fresh cilantro. Taste and adjust salt and pepper to your liking. However, no salt or pepper are needed. To me, it is Perfect! Oh, and one more thing, when reheating the soup, you may need to add more chicken broth as the rice will suck up all the liquid. Now, remove from the heat and serve. You may garnish with fresh cilantro or even parsley if cilantro is not your thing. And right before digging in, squeeze some fresh lime juice if you like. Yo, check this out, I think. Now, you are ready to eat. To begin, in a skillet over medium high heat, add in 1.5 pounds of lean ground beef. Break up the meat and we're going to let it cook for about 5 to 6 minutes until the meat is browned. Then add in half a medium sized onion and diced. Continue cooking for another 2 minutes until the onion becomes translucent. Then add in 4 cloves of garlic, minced. Cook off the garlic for about 1 minute. Then add in half a cup of red bell pepper, diced. Half a cup of green bell pepper, diced as well. Half a teaspoon of oregano. 2 tablespoons of fresh cilantro, 2 tablespoons of chili powder. Go ahead and give that a stir and combine all the ingredients together. Now add in 1 cup of water, followed by a chicken bouillon cube. Make sure to dissolve the chicken bouillon cube in the water. Sprinkle freshly ground black pepper to taste. Continue to cook over medium high heat until all the water has evaporated. At this point you may taste and adjust salt and pepper to your liking. Once all the liquid has evaporated, your ground beef is fully cooked. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Now, in a large mixing bowl, add in 1 cup of cornmeal, half a cup of all-purpose flour, 1 tablespoon of baking powder. Go ahead and give that a quick mix. 
Oh, and before I forget, two tablespoons of sugar and half a teaspoon of salt. Once the dry ingredients have been thoroughly combined, add in one large egg, half a cup of milk, one can of creamed corn. Go ahead and whisk until thoroughly combined. Then add in half a cup of shredded cheddar cheese and one jalapeno diced. Go ahead and incorporate those two ingredients in. Now to the ground beef, cover it with one and a half cups of shredded cheddar cheese. Then pour the cornbread mixture over it. With a spatula, spread it out as even as you can. Now, bake at 400 degrees for 25 minutes. And if everything goes according to plan, your tamale pie would look like this. And there you guys have it, tamale pie. <laughs> to begin, in a large pot or a Dutch oven over medium high heat, add in two pounds of lean ground turkey. Go ahead and break up the meat and cook for about five minutes until brown. After the meat has changed color, add in one medium-sized onion, diced, followed by one cup of celery, diced as well, and saute for about three to five minutes until tender. Then add in four cloves of garlic, minced, three tablespoons of chili powder, one teaspoon of ground cumin, one teaspoon of Italian seasoning, one tablespoon of tomato paste, one teaspoon of kosher salt, and one teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper or to taste. Saute for one minute and wake up the spices. Then add in two cups of chicken broth, followed by two 15 ounce cans of cannellini beans. You may use any type of beans that you prefer. Rinse the beans before adding to the pot, two 14 and a half ounces of canned diced tomatoes, and two four and a half ounces cans of green chilies. Go ahead and mix and get everything evenly incorporated. Once evenly incorporated, let it come to a simmer. Once it comes to a simmer, reduce the heat to low and cover it. Let it simmer cover for about 45 minutes to one hour. To ensure even cooking, stir the pot every 10 to 15 minutes or so. And after simmering for about one hour, it is serving time. You may taste and adjust salt and pepper to your liking. You may garnish with sharp cheddar cheese, some sour cream, and finish it up with some fresh cilantro. And if everything goes according to plan, the final product would look like this.
For this recipe, we are using 6 Italian hot sausage. To begin, we are cutting them into bite-sized pieces. Then, rinse 3 cups of rice under cold water to remove most of the starch. Now, in a large pot over medium heat, add in 2 tablespoons of vegetable oil. Sauté the sausage for a few minutes or until brown. Once they have developed some color, remove from the pot and set them aside. Now, in the same pot, add in one small onion, diced. Sauté the onion until it becomes translucent. Scrape the bottom of the pot as you sauté the onion. Those pieces of meat have so much flavor. Then, add in four cloves of garlic, minced, half a teaspoon of oregano, one teaspoon of smoked paprika, half a teaspoon of adobo, one teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Go ahead and saute the spices for about 45 seconds or so. Now add in 3 cups of water. We are doing the 1 to 1 ratio. 1 cup of water per 1 cup of rice. Then add in 1 chicken bouillon cube. Followed by 1 packet of sazon. If you like to make your own sazon without the MSG, I do have a video on how to make it. I will put the link in the description box down below. Add 1 tablespoon of tomato paste. Go ahead and give that a stir. Increase the heat to medium high and bring to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, add in the rice. Bring the sausage back in, of course. Go ahead and give that a stir until everything has been evenly incorporated. Continue cooking over medium-high heat until all the water has evaporated. Once all the water has evaporated, reduce the heat to low. Cover with a tight lid and we're going to cook on low for about 45 to 50 minutes. And after 25 minutes, go ahead and fluff the rice so it cooks evenly. Continue cooking cover for another 25 minutes or until the rice is soft and tender. And after the rice has cooked completely, you may garnish with fresh Italian parsley, if you like. And now, you are ready to eat. To begin, in a large pot or a Dutch oven, add 1 pound of lean ground beef. Go ahead and break up the meat and sauté until brown. Then add 1 medium sized onion diced and sauté the onion until it becomes translucent, about 5 minutes. Then add 4 cloves of garlic minced and sauté the garlic until fragrant, about 30 seconds. Season the ground beef with 1 teaspoon of Italian seasoning, 1 teaspoon of smoked paprika, 1 teaspoon of chili powder, 1 teaspoon of onion powder, 1 teaspoon of garlic powder, 1 eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Give that a quick stir to wake up the spices. Kosher salt and freshly ground black pepper, both to taste. As a thickening agent, add 2 tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Give that a quick stir to cook off the flour. Now add 6 cups of beef stock, followed by half a cup of tomato sauce, 1 cup of whole milk, and to elevate this dish, 2 tablespoons of sun-dried tomatoes. 
Stir that in to incorporate. Let the pot simmer for about five minutes as it comes to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, add one pound of pasta shells and cook until al dente about nine to 10 minutes. Make sure to stir as it cooks so nothing sticks to the bottom of the pot. At this stage, you may taste and adjust salt and pepper to your liking. I'm going to add a little bit more salt and a little bit more pepper as I feel like it needs it. And once your pasta is al dente, add 8 ounces of sharp cheddar cheese. Go ahead and stir that in to combine. And the last ingredient, 2 cups of baby spinach. Give that a stir to incorporate. And now, you are ready to eat. There you guys have it, homemade hamburger helper. Enjoy, buen provecho, thanks for watching, see you later, bye. Yeah.